Well, it's taken six years and 720,000 attempts, but Alan McFudgen from Kokubri has finally captured the perfect photograph of a kingfisher, all in memory of his grandfather. 46-year-old Alan started kingfisher spotting as a child. When he picked up the camera six years ago, he set himself the task of capturing a kingfisher's dive. That's not an easy job. They move incredibly fast. Kim Ingalls reports. This is the spot where Alan saw his first kingfisher 40 years ago with his late grandfather. These days he brings his son Leighton, who saw his first kingfisher last month from the exact same place. This is the kingfisher that features in Alan's photograph, a regular at this idyllic location. We came out here in the bicycles together. I'd seen plenty of other birds with them. And the day we came to the bridge and I seen the blue flying up the bridge, right up the water, I couldn't believe a UK bird could be so beautifully coloured and bright. It looks so exotic and I just couldn't believe there's a bird like that in, in this country. They're really nice and they're beautiful. And when did you see your first one? Well, it was about two weeks ago when I just seen a kingfisher going under the bridge like a blue bullet. And what did you think? It was just amazing, incredible. Over the past six years, Alan has been here, camera in hand, around 1,200 times. He spent over 4,000 hours snapping these bright blue birds and taken 720,000 shots in his attempt to capture this, the perfect image of a kingfisher doing a flawless dive into the water. I wanted him diving into the water, perfect shot, just about point entry and the reflection and it was a long campaign but we, we got the other name. I mean, 720,000 photographs, did you know you got the perfect image? I was pretty confident that day because um, I was looking at the back of my camera but every time you go to the computer it can sometimes tell you a different story. So I was pretty pleased when I got home and looked at them and I nailed it. Alan's grandfather, Robert Murray, died in 1994 before Alan started his photography project. The rest of the family have been incredibly moved by Alan's tribute to him. Oh, the family have been messaging me, phoning me. They're just, and there's some of them in tears. Two of my aunties were in tears, my auntie Sheila and Martin, but Marlene, and just all over from America, relations. They're just so proud of, of what we've done for them. What do you think of Dad's photographs? They're all amazing. Alan says while patience is essential, it has never felt like a chore sitting for hours waiting to get the right picture. And he isn't finished. The next challenge is to capture a pine martin in mid-air jumping across a stream. Given they're nocturnal animals, it could mean a few late nights. Kim Ingalls, ITV News, Kukubri. Perfectly well played, Alan. In six years' time, we'll have a piece about this photo with the pine martin. It's just <laughs> tremendous. It'll take a million minutes to get that one. No, it was, it was a great photograph and great shots as well from our camera and Mike Easton, yeah. who oh, shot it. Sorry about kingfishers, red squirrels.